We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Doreen Lango, who is Manager of Member Services for the Vanuatu National Provident Fund. Doreen, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Max. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, an incredibly successful project uh, which I know that you've been involved with to promote digital inclusion in Vanuatu through the Community Association, which is a telecentre, in fact, built mm -hmm. for your community. Could you tell us a little bit more about what led you to this idea and how you developed the project? Okay, thank you, Max. Um, an association was born and it's called uh, Ho Right for Association. It was founded by, uh, the founder was uh, uh, by Dr. Richard Leona and uh, purposely to unite the community uh, so that they can come together and work together to uh, for the betterment of their, of their community. And uh, this is to be able to have access to better education, better health services, uh, post economic systems. And uh, that's how the association was formed. And uh, in the community area, there was a land that was leased by the government of Anuatu. And uh, this land was, uh, the government of Anuatu bid some lump sum of money into the community. And then what the community did was they used the money, uh, and they used the money to establish an office, to build an office. And then uh, they also used the money as a collateral uh, to build and to introduce uh, services uh, into the community and at that time this was way back in 2008 at that time they see um, ICT internet and telephone was the first priority I uh, thought so that um, uh, for v very um, main reasons is uh, firstly is that uh, they could be able to communicate with uh, between offices the office of the association and the office uh, of the advisory group uh, people back in the main town and also with stakeholders and they could also be able to uh, the officers in the office are able to uh, learn and be developed how to manage an office and um, uh, also for communications uh, between the community and the friends and families in town so at the time they, um, uh, a system was bought a satellite dish uh, one computer and one internet connection and three telephones and uh, a solar system. Uh, it cost the association about uh, uh, one million fatu, which is equivalent to 10,000 US dollar. And that's how it began. And what impact did this have on the community? There is uh, a, a substantial uh, positive impact on the community. Uh, first of all, uh, directly um, the officers have the office. There, there is established communication um, between the officers, uh, the advisory board uh, committee, which are all uh, in Villa, which is the main town of Anuatu, and the office. And then um, also indirectly, um, the officers who have been recruited from the local community, we can see a lot of development in themselves. And this is seen during their presentation uh, on their reports. They use PowerPoint presentations uh, to do their reports and how they structure their reports. You can see that they have learned so much from the, from the internet and from the telecenter. And also directly, um, when it was started, it was only uh, one computer and then eventually it expands because the need grows. And then uh, we have uh, people around the community area, they come in, the dropout students uh, or people who cannot make it to town. They have um, online studies and we have uh, people in the community coming to use the services uh, for, to communicate with their families and friends and uh, for secretarial work. And uh, some schools in the area, they use the telecenter to, um, they have, Visits, they visit once in a while uh, to the telecenter and they use the computers and they look in into onto internet. And then uh, we also have um, uh, the, the community area, the farmers, they use the telecenter to sell the products, their, their cash crops. And uh, they come in to sell the cash crops, the telecenter buy the cash crops and then uh, uh, and, uh, send it to Villa for or exports or for uh, local market in Port Vila. 
And uh, you could see the telecenter like a middle person between the community and the open areas. So there was a lot of impact uh, in the way people, you could see people having, they've improved their living standard and they have access to communication that they can communicate with their families and friends or for agency, emergencies, uh, hospitals or even as far as the police, they could contact the police for whatever that is happening in the rural areas in the community. And uh, but there was a, there was a big impact, and uh, the community and uh, the advisory board uh, committee is very well pleased with the impact that we see on the community. And how yeah. did you successfully manage a self-sustaining model for this project? And and do you think it could be replicated in, in other regions? Yes. Um, Sustainable, it's, it's an issue of its own. And how we managed the sustainability was, uh, we couldn't, you couldn't force, um, you couldn't force uh, a, a technology into the community. But what happened is, is there was a need. So it began as a small scale, and then the need grows, and then while the need grows, there is demand, and the people could pay. So they're coming to pay for internet, we charge hours on hourly rate and then they come in to pay for telephone services and they come in to pay for secretarial services like uh, typing printing and then uh, also um, with the money that is saved in the account uh, it accumulate interest and this interest is able to pay for administration fees and also um, the the telecenter was able to also introduce other business arms like it established a lending a lending um, scheme it established a wholesale um, department it established um, several western union so people come and use these services and then they pay fees and then that how money is collected and pay for the for the fees for the bills yeah so this could be replicated in, in other regions, then, do you think? Yes, uh, but it has to be from the community. Uh, the need has to be built from the community. Uh, it, and that's the way it can be sustainable. If the community don't see the need, um, I don't see any way it can be sustainable. Yeah. What uh, thoughts do you think you could share with uh, other communities, with uh, other people who are essentially motivated to promote digital inclusion? The community have their way of living, they have their own culture, and we cannot force uh, digital inclusion into the community. What we see from the experience that we had on from the community telecenter is that these tools, digital inclusion is a tool that has brought value added or has bring value added into their, their, their life, their livelihood, their way of living. Um, it facilitates um, communication, it facilitates uh, economic systems, it facilitates uh, education development, uh, health services, and uh, we see digital inclusion and we see ICT as an enabler that uh, can be able to help the community with the existing way of living. And uh, what, what can we can also learn uh, from the experience that we had is that uh, we have to start small and then st being starting small um, the demand grows when the demand grows and the need grows that's when we grow along with the trend of demand and need and then that's how it can be sustainable but we cannot establish something that you know <coughs> we with a big uh, huge we we cannot make a, a big investment and then, but there is, the, the community doesn't see it needs how to use the system or how, how to use the telecenter or how to use the internet. So it has to start small and then it builds and it doesn't take a month, it takes years to be able to be sustainable and to be able to, you know, involve in the life, with the life of the community. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for, for sharing that with us, and we wish you the very best with the project in the future. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for being in the studio today. Thank you so much, Max.